This is Kate Roy Massey Christian recording Dixon Wallace Christian's photography show at the cafe at St. Stephen's. The show will hang during July and August 2019, five to six months after Dixon's death on February 6. The show benefits the cafe and deeply honors St. Stephen's and Dixon's shared mission of helping all people love unconditionally themselves and each other. As St. Stephen's inclusive welcoming community tries to say in every possible way, and as these two write-ups about Dixon say, creating an experience of belonging to the community of love is what St. Stephen's and what Dixon are all about. This photo of a little girl shooting for a basket is one of a large series of photos with which Dixon and his helpers documented life in St. Catherine's Kenny Athletic Center. Beneath the little girl are explanations of Dixon's decades-long photography career and of the poster Dixon made to memorialize his mother's passion for creating with flowers and love. This section is one of two hanging in this hallway that comprise Dixon's 25 plus years of making posters with the supervision of dance teachers Jackie Harrison Macy and Kendall Neely for St. Catherine's Joni Rodman Dance Theater performances. Here hang a sampling of the work Dixon did during his 30 plus years at home in his studio and classroom at 101 Maple Avenue, across the street from St. Catharines, where virtually all his photographing, teaching, counseling, business meetings, and entertaining occurred. This is the second larger collection of posters for Joni Rodney Dance Theater. These three photos portray Dixon's fun with Photoshop, as do six others hanging on this wall. These three uh, also portray, these four portray Dixon's fun with Photoshop. Across the entrance hallway to the cafe are examples of the only photographs Dixon ever exhibited, except for those he created for St. Catherine's use. Shortly after the turn of the 21st century, a designer friend persuaded Dixon to let her show some of his human landscapes as part of her design kiosk in the Richmond Convention Center. Dixon had these prints, some of his top favorites, properly matted and framed for that event. This little German girl, the daughter of one of Dixon's and Kate Roy's godsons, was as adorable as she looks and an absolutely fabulous model. This frame includes the extraordinarily wonderful homily Gussie Banner gave at Dixon's memorial service on February 12, 2019. Countless people in the congregation that day, most especially Kate Roy, have expressed immense gratitude for St. Stephen's and St. Catherine's life-giving celebration of Dixon. This remarkably lifelike photo of Dixon appeared in his obituary. Included is a photo of the Reverend Gary Jones and Kate Roy 
interring Dixon's ashes in St. Stephen's Memorial Garden. A small flower bouquet always marks this beloved site. These three photographs were particular favorites of Dixon. He loved memorializing the dance students' hands and feet. Here is another example of Dixon's fun with Photoshop. He particularly loved using the Venetian blinds in his studio to create stripes on human bodies. Dixon's mother, Margaret Christian, oozed love. Dixon photographed a few of her flower arrangement paintings and made this poster that represents the love she handed over to any and everyone in Panther. Photoshop many images of St. Catherine's dance department that he did not use in his posters. These frames represent some of those Photoshop shots. These shots are also not part of a dance photo, but they are made of dance department students at St. Catherine. For many years, Dixon's great delight was photographing Richmond Ballet students and company members. Over the years, he and a number of the dancers developed close relationships, which were among his most treasured. These two walls represent some of Dixon's work with Richmond Ballet talent. Long, beautiful hair was an abiding fascination for Dixon. This glorious head of hair appeared in several of his favorite shots. These are among the very few prints Dixon displayed in his studio. He had a display system that allowed him to change prints whenever he chose. But he loved them so much, he only chose to make one change during 30 years. Duplicates of the prints you see here have been hanging in the studio for 15 plus years. The original photo for these extreme Photoshop prints is not available, but these four frames show the fun Dixon had as he explored Photoshop possibilities. This was one of Dixon's early and longtime favorite models. He gave away most of his prints to his early models, so very few are now available. Again, this is a write-up of Dixon's photography career, which started when he was 11 years old as a boy in his father's Episcopal Girls' School for high school and junior college. Dixon became the school photographer at age 11. This wall includes some of Dixon's early Maple Avenue work, portraits from the late 1890s, dance shots from the 1990s, facial close-ups from the turn of the century. Dixon Christian loved creating every piece you have seen. He loved each one because he loved connecting with the person within, and he loved communicating the great beauty he saw there.